Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I also want to thank all of my subscribers. I am up to 80 subscribers now, 8-0. And uh, that's as of today. Of course, uh, hopefully by the time this video gets uploaded to YouTube, uh, that number will increase. I also want to thank all of you for clicking on the link that I posted in the uh, description box in my last video. And of course, that was a link to my son's new YouTube channel. Uh, he is new to YouTube, he is new to editing and uploading videos, and uh, he is also new to flying drones and, and uh, producing uh, drone videos. But um, So what you saw in that video was him practicing with his drone, flying around on the Halifax River. He lives near Port Orange, Florida, and of course uh, he took some footage of uh, some half-sunken boats out there in the river, and of course, uh, you know, as he... Uh, gets better at all that, at uh, flying his drone around and, and uh, producing videos and, and all. Uh, I look forward to uh, uh, more of that type of footage. So with all that said, let's talk about the boat. Well, I got out here this afternoon and bonded this last strike in place. And uh, when we left off in that last video, I still had one more to go. Got that taken care of this afternoon. And so next up, I need to get out here with uh, my wood flower epoxy and uh, just lay in a fillet bead all the way around each one of the strikes. And that's so we'll have a nice smooth transition from the uh, strike down to the bottom of the boat. I'm just gonna uh, lay it in there all about a half inch wide or so, maybe a little bit wider than that. And of course, you know, that's so the, uh, the fiberglass cloth will lay in there nice and smooth. And uh, speaking of the last layer of fiberglass, I'm really looking forward to getting that done because I am looking forward to getting this boat flipped back over so I can uh, start finishing out the interior. I really want to get this boat done. Uh, it has been hot. It is unseasonably hot, like I mentioned in that last video. It was uh, over 100 degrees today. Uh, gosh, probably about 105, and so, I mean, it just gets to a point where I can't even work out here in the garage. I mean, it just becomes uh, almost dangerous at, at, at that point. And plus, like I mentioned in the past, there is a temperature range on the resin, and when it gets really, really super hot like that, like it was today, um, that stuff will fire off really before uh, really before you're, you're, you're done with whatever it is you're working on. So, uh, you know, have to be conscious of that. And uh, also just, like I said, have to be conscious of the heat. You know, I want to get this boat done, but, you know, I don't want to hurt myself in the process. And, uh, you know, as I get older, I'm not as tolerant of the heat as I used to be. But anyway, once I get those uh, fillet beads laid in there, I will get back to you. So... I will see you when that's done, and I will see you in the next segment. And I'm back. And just like that, I got the first two strakes fared out with the uh, wood flower epoxy, as you can see there. Uh, might have to come back and do a little bit of light sanding on that. Shouldn't take a whole lot. But uh, once I get that side done, and uh, once I get the fiberglass tape laid across these. I'm going to go with two layers of that fiberglass tape. Once that's done and once I get this corner uh, taped off again, then we'll be ready for that last layer of fiberglass cloth that's going to lay over the bottom and down the side. Alright folks, I will be back when that side's done. See you in the next segment. Okay folks, I'm back. It's been a few days since I recorded that last segment. I've had a few things going on. I uh, had to take a little bit of a break from this, but as you can see, I now have all four of the strakes fared out, and I've actually started the fiberglass work on this one here on this outboard left-hand side. Boat's upside down, left is right, right is left. So I started the uh, fiberglass work on this one. I did have to come back on these other two here in the center had to fill in a couple of low spots and had to uh, touch up some of the wood flower epoxy in a couple of places. So um, just got to wait until all of that cures. Once that has fully cured, I can get out here, 
start doing all the uh, finish sanding and then start laying down the uh, fiberglass on top of the other three strakes here. And actually I just finished fairing this one out here about 30 minutes ago so uh, all of this wood flower epoxy right here is still wet and uh, I'm just going to walk away from it here for a few hours and let that cure. Alright folks, I will see you in the next segment. I'll be right back.
Well, all right. All four of the strakes now have a layer of fiberglass on them. And uh, all I have to do now is wait for that fiberglass to uh, set up. Or actually, I should say wait for the resin to set up. Wait for that stuff to cure. And then I'll get back out here and uh, knock down these edges and get ready for the second layer. And uh, once we're done with that, uh, we'll be ready to uh, drape that uh, final layer of fiberglass on the bottom of the hole. All right, folks, I will see you later. Okay, folks, I'm back. And while I'm waiting for all of that fiberglass to fire off right there, actually, let's check it. That's been a few hours now. Let's see what's going on here. Huh? Hot weather does wonders for resin. I tell you, it's almost cured. Oh, that one's a little tacky right there. Okay. So, while I'm waiting on that, I decided to go ahead and uh, lay down that tape on that corner. And I talked about that in a previous video. So, we've got that outer corner reinforced on this side. I've still got to do the other side. Also, came up here and decided to lay in a little bit more fiberglass in this area right here. Now, that's not air bubbles that you're looking at right there. That's 8-ounce cloth, and I laid uh, some 6-ounce tape over the top of it, and it's kind of, I don't know exactly what that is. That 8-ounce cloth is, uh, you know, it's just doing some funny things there with that resin, but it's not air, because I've been patting on it and packing resin in, into that area, and uh, all I know is it's not air. It's some kind of discoloration in the fabric. But anyway, I decided to go ahead and reinforce this area just a little bit more because this is where the bow eye attaches and when you go to pull the boat up on a trailer uh, you're gonna uh, of course you're gonna hook the cable right here or the strap and there's gonna be a lot of strain right in this area so I just want to go ahead and reinforce this a little bit more and uh, plus I want to put another layer of glass right here because like I mentioned also in that previous video this is where the uh, the bumper stops going to ride up against the uh, bow of the boat. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video, and uh, we'll just call it good right there. So, with that said, I do thank each and every one of you for watching, and uh, as I always say, praise be to God in all things, to God be the glory. And again, thank you all for watching, and have a great week. Thank you.